Coming up in the national headlines, police officers are suspended for abusing a paralyzed man, and Comcast clashes with the FCC. Hi everyone and welcome to GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee and here are some top national stories. In Florida, four sheriff deputies have been suspended after a video surfaced of them purposely tipping over a quadriplegic man out of his wheelchair. Surveillance footage shown here from Hillsborough County Jail shows a deputy dumping Brian Sterner from his wheelchair onto the floor after he was brought in on a warrant for a traffic violation. After being brought into a booking room, one of the officers told Sterner to stand up of course, he grew agitated and he couldn't comply because he's paralyzed. Sterner has not been able to walk since a 1994 car accident and uses hand pedals on his current vehicle. An investigation is underway into the charges. And during an FCC hearing yesterday, Comcast Corporation defended its internet flow practices after being hauled in by complaints from consumer advocacy groups. Comcast was accused of unfairly hampering internet traffic load for their own purposes. But Comcast says they've just been doing what's justifiable. They are accused of interfering with users' internet activity when file sharing is suspected. Comcast says if they didn't curb file sharing between users, it would slow down the entire network with large file transfers. So instead, they trick users into thinking their connection was broken so they'll abandon the file. It's pretty sly, don't you think? Consumers, of course, think this is unfair and don't want anyone nosing around in their business online. The issue has been hotly debated lately by people on both sides. Internet hounds want to continue getting their movies and music online for free, while the industry sees record lows in music sales as a direct correlation to online practices that need to be changed, mostly by ISPs. The FCC will continue hearing arguments on the case. You just heard some top stories from GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee for GetTheDaily, your online source for news.